Hello Central Illinois, Eureka High's rich track tradition is adding a second place state trophy. Today in the 2A state finals, we've been talking about these two guys all year. Aiden Sears and Micah Sr., the top two ranked runners in the state. Watch what happens. Micah Sr. is winning the race when he pulls up wobbly at the end. Sears winds up winning. Sr.'s devastated in fourth place. A shocking finish there, but moments later in the 4x400 relay, Micah Sr. is bringing home the gold for Eureka. This is a better moment for the Hornets. Sr. wins the state title, hugs his teammate Sears. What a moment. Eureka wins the relay, finishes second as a team. I'll definitely take second place. Second place is what we, we Coach Kaya wanted us to uh, at least place top three, and uh, that's what we did. And we got second place overall with the smallest school in 2A. Being one of the smallest schools in 2A, and it's, it's just ecstatic for them. You know, I, I would put it as, as one of my, my top teams we've ever had by far. Mascuda wins the state title. We'll get this. Tiny Eureka finishes second just ahead of powerful East St. Louis. To the 300 hurdles in Peoria, Richwood's Kavir Mack lost in a photo finish in the 110 high hurdles, but not in the 300. Look at the kid for Richwood's go. Kavir Mack is your 300 meter state champ for Richwood's. I'm going to get this. I'm going to get this. I came up short on the 110. It's okay. So I, coach kept telling me, you have another race. So I gave it all I could. Congratulations to Kivir. Congratulations also to Limestone's Wilson Georges. Trying for the double tonight. He finishes third in the 800, fifth in the 1600. You see in the Limestone blue right there, Wilson Georges. Normal U High's Colton Nassiger was the pole vault state champ. Now to the high school baseball state finals. Normal U High on their home field. U High playing Freeburg in the semifinals. In the second inning, Daniel Moselle, the base hit right here in the center. But that's going to drive in Evan Jones, who's sliding home and a little bit fired up. Yeah, for U High. Then Matt Armstrong's base hit put U High on top three zip. But at the top of the third, Freeburg put together a big rally. They scored five runs, and Freeburg beats normal U High five to three. About an hour later, U High back in the field playing conference rival Sacred Heart Griffin of Springfield for third place. Matt Armstrong, great piece of hitting right here. Singles in Jack Bach and a sliding Matthew Davenport. Then it's going to be one of the senior captains, Daniel Moselle. He's going to drive one to left field and drive in Evan Jones. And how about senior captain McCollin Conklin? Big Mac's going to hit one out of the yard right here for a home run. He'll take a victory lap and one final home plate stomp for normal U High. They finished third in state with a 7-5 victory. It's, it's awesome. I mean, to end the season on a win, it's amazing. It's not the win you know we wanted at the beginning, but, you know, especially to get that rematch against SHG and come out on top, I mean, it's awesome. Uh, I'm just proud how our team came back losing a game and just giving up their all, giving up their last game for the seniors and everybody. Congratulations to Normal U High, third place in state. High school hoopers showing off in front of NCAA college coaches at the Midwest Crossroads Showcase at Normal West. ISU Redbird coach Dan Muller, a couple of Bradley assistants, dozens of college coaches finally back out recruiting. Among the standouts today, Normal Community senior Zach Cleveland right there, Peoria Notre Dame sophomores Cooper Koch and Lathan Somerville. After a year of no recruiting, it was great to see the games today. I'm really excited for the kids the opportunity to be able to be evaluated and seen by a lot of coaches. As you know, it's been it's been quite a while. Uh, I'm just excited for uh, for Normal West to host this. Games continue Saturday and Sunday. Illinois coach Brad Underwood expected to watch tomorrow. Baseball Cubs 